I'm gonna show you how to create a low table that takes almost no effort to build. To start, I'm gonna need a wood crate and I'm gonna give this a good coat of paint here. For the top of the table, I am using a top of a desk that I am no longer using anymore. So why not repurpose it? You could also use a piece of wood to do this. So I'm gonna flip that desk top over and I'm gonna take my painted crate and place it bottom side down on the tabletop. Then I'm just gonna drill some holes and add some screws. Make sure to use screws that aren't gonna go all the way through the table, but are long enough to really keep it secure. Four should do the trick. Then we just flip it over and we have this low table that's gonna offer some great floor seating. To dress it up, I'm just gonna add a table runner, some faux greenery, some lemons, and a few candles. To make it even more cozy, I'm adding some cushions to the ground. It's a really great conversation area to enjoy a drink or some snacks or even a meal. Add some greenery and some soft lighting and this makes the perfect outdoor seating area. What I love about this table is it's really lightweight, so I can move it inside, I can move it to another area, I can really put it wherever I want to gather. Go grab a crate or a basket and a tabletop or a piece of wood and put together your own little seating area. Grab an old door from your local thrift store. Place it on two sawhorses. Begin by removing any hinges and sanding it smooth. Once it's sanded, blow away the dust and add some primer. After it's been coated in primer, add the paint color of your choosing. We decided to go with the fresh white, but you can do any color. Paint the sawhorses as well. After it's dry, carefully get rid of any glass using a hammer, pliers, and protective gear. Next, secure the door to the sawhorses and seal the paint. The mini window we removed allowed us to perfectly place our umbrella inside. Now you have a gorgeous picnic table for all those summer parties. I'm gonna do this really fun backyard picnic. First thing I'm gonna do is I took a spare rug that I had. This is going to be the base for our picnic. So I'm just gonna unroll this. I've gotten a couple of these pallets. So I don't know if you've seen any of these done in a backyard picnic, but they're an awful lot of fun. So I'm going to put these on my rug. And this is gonna kind of make our outdoor room. And I'm just gonna lay these down right here, like so. I have my two pallets laid out on my rug here. I actually am gonna move them down a little bit to center them a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get started setting up for our picnic. My backyard goes downhill a little bit, so I've taken a couple of containers because I want these to be even so that people can dine on them. So I'm going to put one there and one right here. So if you have that problem, that's your answer, okay? And I know these two are not totally even, that's okay. I want this to be rustic, but a little refined. Obviously, pallets don't make a great tabletop. So I have these great hard slate um, placemats. And you could use these, you could use cutting boards, anything like this. But these will be for my actual place settings so that everybody can dine in confidence that their plate isn't going to fall through the holes on the pallets. So I'm gonna go ahead and set those around. And this is going to be a table for six. 
The next thing I'm gonna do is dress these up. I don't wanna set my place settings right on those. So I'm gonna use these kind of rather bohemian looking um, blue and different natural fiber placemats on top of my slate, just like so. Keeping with the uh, bohemian flair, I'm just going to use these um, reed wrapped glasses and I'm gonna add those to each place setting like so. I'm gonna use my pretty uh, Lennox plates, just a basic white plate for these. Again, this is casual, and a little bit bohemian and I'm gonna put these around and then for flatware, I'm gonna use these wooden handled uh, flatware and I'm gonna use just a knife and a fork, something very simple for this place settings. Okay, for really, ca when I'm going really casual, all I wanna do with my cloth napkins is gather them in the middle and just like so, and just tie them in a knot. And also like right now, it's a little windy out here they're not gonna to blow too much. And I'm just gonna to toss those right in the middle of each one of my plates, and that picks up on the same blue theme. I have a collection of uh, glass bottles that I've picked up. So I just took battery lights like so and fed them right down inside my jars. Just push those right down inside your jars and they will add a nice glow to your tabletop. And I didn't worry about having jars that were big enough to put the entire battery pack inside because on the pallet, I can set these right here and just let the wire go right down underneath the pallet. So I'm gonna add those all along the table. I have my jars all lit up and all the way down the middle of our table. And I just went to, um, my closet and grabbed a couple of scarves and I'm just kind of kind of weave those in between my jars for just a little bit more maybe refined look just grabbed a couple of blue ones to again there we go and that's all I had to do oh I have to add cushions where are people gonna sit fortunately my house I have all kinds of blue cushions so I am going to add all kinds of blue cushions to our setting so everybody can get really comfy here. And we're just gonna have a wonderful romantic summertime evening picnic right out here in the backyard. But I wanted to show you how easy and how fun it is. If you have a source, if you can find a couple of pallets, even if you can just borrow them, um, to put together this kind of a fun backyard uh, palette picnic. 